My name is Tukur, Tukur Yusuf Buratai, but most people know me as General Buratai or simply put Buratai. I know that the name Tukur comes from the Arabic language and I have heard that His Royal Highness Muhammad Tukur, who ruled Kano from 1893 to 1894, made the name famous. From what I could tell, the name meant something special. When I was in high school, my English teacher told me A good reputation is one of the benefits of hard work and diligence and that a good reputation will always help you move up in life. It will definitely make a person meet and talk to kings, queens, and other important people in the world. It has the power to turn a complete nobody into a star or, maybe a better word is celebrity. This is what intrigued me the most. My instructor informed me that celebrities are typically identified by their first name, last name, or in some situation, in nomenclature, with no more than three syllables. I did not take this celebrity thing seriously because I have never wanted to be a celebrity. Even though I value hard work, diligence and excellence in my work, I am a shy, private person who does not like being around a lot of people. I did not know, like most young people today, that hard work, diligence and excellence will always transform an average person into an extraordinary one. I think this is why most people call me Buratai even though the name is also a last name for a lot of other people, both living and dead. I'm now the only person who people think of when they hear the word Buratai. When you say Buratai, the first thing people think of is me. When I tell people my name is Tukuru, they are always shocked. Tukuru is of Buratai, and my village is called Buratai. Everything I am or do comes from or starts in that village. It is where I was born. I started going to school there as well. Many of you who are reading my story want to join the army but do not know how. That does not mean you do not know about the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna or the Nigerian Military School in Zaria. You may have heard of these places. Most of you do want to know what it takes to be a good soldier. Now, there is something else and this is something that happens a lot. Many of you have no idea what you want to do with your lives. You still do not know what you should do for a living in schools. This is where guidance and counseling officers need to be involved. When I started at Government Teachers College, Putiskum, I was lucky to have a teacher who took a special interest in me. Mr. Raj Kumar Hasina was from Bangladesh and came to teach in Putiskum town. The first person to call me General was him. Because of how I look and act, I would make a good soldier if I joined the army. He said that I have the look and attitude of a real soldier. I still remember the day he gave me the soldier guide to read. I read that book repeatedly and it made me want to join the army. One of the lessons I learned from the book is that character or value is fundamental to soldiering. Let me quote a part of the paragraph of the soldier guide that I am referring to here. When we say that a man has good character, we mean that he has many strong qualities and virtues that added together make him a man whom we like, respect and trust. One definition of character, therefore, is this. The sum of the qualities that make a person what he is. It's not easy to tell you exactly what qualities and virtues you must have to be a good soldier, but perhaps you can understand better what is meant by a soldier character. If you consider some of the qualities that all of our good soldiers have had, the qualities include honesty, courage, self-control, decency and conviction of purpose. This is by no means a complete list, but those are the qualities that most good soldiers possess. Let's talk about them. You must be honest because there is absolutely no room in our military world for dishonesty, half-truth or any other shade in between. When the outcome of a battle could rest on the truth of your report, your word must be your bond. In private life, one can avoid or make allowance for those who have trouble telling the truth. But in the army, soldiers depend on each other too much to accept anything but completely honesty. All good soldiers understand the need for truthfulness and shun those who lie. As a soldier, you may be called on to be a courageous in many ways. In battle, you may have to keep moving forward in the face of heavy enemy fire. Lives of other men may depend on this kind of courage. Battle plans are based on it then, in addition to courage in battle. You need courage to admit your own failures. You may need still 
another kind of courage to ask your fellow soldiers to keep going when they have nearly reached the limit of their endurance. In any talk of courage, however, it is important that you know the difference between real courage and foolhardiness. Taking unnecessary risk is stupid and often endangers the lives of others. Being courageous doesn't mean that you won't be afraid at the same time. Fear in battle is natural and some of our best soldiers have been those who have been afraid but who went ahead into battle even with a shaking hand and pounding heart. Soldiers who have displayed this kind of courage were able to do so because of another quality self-control. As a soldier, you will be living and working closely with other soldiers. You will be leading a highly disciplined life. Good self-control makes this discipline easier. It will also help you avoid temptations that may plague you. Temptations to dodge your duty, to indulge in immorality, or to use your power unfairly. Sometimes you may be the law itself and only your sense of fright and self-control will stand between you and your abuse of power as a soldier. Self-control is inner discipline. You were not born with it, but all good soldiers have acquired it through the years by checking their tempers and desires and by counting ten before they acted. Another quality that all good soldiers have is decency. This means personal habits that make it easier for others to live and work with you. Your honesty, courage and self-control will strongly affect your companions, but in addition, it is important that you give them the same consideration that you like them to give you. This means respecting their property and views, keeping yourself clean in body and speech, and accepting others for what they are, not for the color of their skins or where they came from. All these qualities are important part of a good soldier's character, but the quality that all our great soldiers have had, the quality that gave meaning to all their other virtues, is conviction of purpose. This means that these soldiers fought well and were able to endure the hardship of war because they were convinced that what they were doing was right. These are some of the main qualities that make up the character of a good soldier. Nobody can give you these qualities. You have to get them yourself by hard work. But at least you know what the qualities are. And if you don't have all of them, you have a goal that is worth preaching. I read this book when I was in my fourth year in teacher's college and it helped me to mold my character into that of an ideal soldier. I do not only want to be a soldier, I want to be a good soldier, the best that I can be. However, the most important thing to always remember is that the army exists primarily to safeguard and protect the territorial integrity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which has a beautiful landmass of 923,768.64 square kilometers. My sincere advice to anyone who wants to join the army is as follows. First, find out what members of your family have served and spend some time with them to find out what they did, how they like it, what they did not like, and so forth. They can give you some idea of what military life was like for them. If no members of your family served, then ask your friends and neighbors if they had anyone who served. Try to get to know them in the same manner. Develop yourself at work, home, church, sports and in the neighborhood. I strongly advise you to pay close attention to your studies and strive to achieve the best result possible in whatever subject you choose. I understand that it can be difficult to improve your academic performance in subjects like algebra or literature, for instance, but it is not nearly as difficult as you believed it to be, and you will acquire self-discipline and attention to detail in this way. Take good care of your personal belongings at home, such as your shoes, clothes, books, bed and furniture, athletic equipment, etc. Noting that is soiled, nasty or ugly should be in your space. Spend some time straightening and cleaning things up after use. This demonstrates self-confidence, focus and detail, and self-discipline and qualities that are characteristics of a soldier. Attend church services, Sunday school or both if you practice religion. There, you will discover more about the state of man and his relationship with God. You might or might not find that it makes you a better soldier, but you will be a better person for having that information and understanding. Play many different sports. 
It is not necessary to be the team's hot shot in basketball or baseball or to be the standout quarterback. To get the most out of the excitement of competition, you should focus on one spot in which you excel. Make your goal run. You should become a member of various groups or organizations in the neighborhood. Try to join some clubs or societies that have a paramilitary bench. I prefer the Boy Scout since it has military orientation and it is fantastic for teaching boys how to get along with one another and how to lead others. Be industrious and develop the culture of saving. Spend the money you earn on a trip you have always wanted to take, perhaps to the coast or the mountains. These pursuits help you develop your independence and self-reliance. One last recommendation. Talk to grown-ups about your aspirations. They might be able to assist you in getting what you desire, but only if they are familiar with you and your motivations. If they ask or offer, let them assist. Keep going. Therefore, start thinking and acting like a soldier if you want to become one.